Morning guys, we're here in Sedona again, and we're going to the Boynton subway. This place is like Grand Central with how busy it is of people and stuff like that. There is parking near, we were very lucky and we got um, a parking spot. With anywhere in, Air, in uh, Sedona you need a Red Rock Pass, but the Integracy National Park work Pass also works, so don't buy the Red Rocks Pass if you already have one. Just display it in your window. Um, if there is no parking at the Boynton Canyon parking uh, trailhead, then there's other places, street parking and other trails that lead to it, like uh, Foy Canyon and stuff like that. So we're going to go and do this hike. I've never done this hike before, mainly because it's super touristic-y. Um, so we're going to see actually how busy this place is. So let's go for a walk, y'all. The trail's 2.4 miles up to the Boynton subway. Make sure you bring water. It can be very hot and dry here in Arizona, especially when in the summer. There's a vortex here in the Boynton Canyon subway trail. That's your first junction, and you go to the right to get to the vortex. They call it a vista. But all locals know is the vortex. There's several vortex here in Arizona and Sedona. And uh, it's got a lot of spiritual meaning for people. So look into it and tell me what you think in the comments. Your opinions on the vortex. Well, anyways, it's beautiful. So it's a good day for a hike. So that's the vortex there. You can climb up it if you're capable. I thought it was pretty easy, but there's a lot of people that can't get up there. So make your own educated decision for that. Sadly, there's a resort, enchantment resort here. I think we'll get away from it here in the next mile though. We're kind of meandering through the woods now, trying to get to the to the subway cave. There hasn't really been that many people, surprisingly. I think because the cave is kind of off to the right and there's no signage, maybe we lost some people. Or, who knows? When we get there, there's a 45-minute line like Devil's Arch. Well, now we hear tons of people, so I'm assuming this is pretty, pretty busy. Won't be surprised if there's a line to get in here. That's the subway, and there's some, some cliff dwellings right there. We're going to go check all this out. Just walk right up this crack. So we just 
climbing up there. I'm gonna pass her on the right. Definitely different than Instagram to portrays it. people are afraid of this stuff. Any pictographs? Any mills? Nope. Huh. Looks like a little seat there though. Yeah. Right. So we're going to continue over that way, then the yep. cliff dwellings there. Beautiful day. That's what you have to walk across to get over. Petro? Oh yeah, turtle. What a desert tortoise of some sort. There's something there too. I see a lot of graffiti. I think that's the only ones that are still visible. Any mills? Doesn't appear to be any mills either. It's a nice little hut there. It looks like a fire hut. Yeah, 100%. This could have been a ceremony cave, too. Somebody has definitely meditated in here. Pretty cool. Lots of soot. I don't really see any petroglyphs or anything like that. Seems to be more. Nothing there. Just some guy named Adam. Look at that little cave. That is far out. And of course someone put some graffiti on there. Well, let's see how far those go. Oh, we can we can get up that if we want. What you're gonna wanna do is uh how do you This is the line for the photo that everybody wants. So there is another way to go around. You have to go around there. It looks like it's easier, but I'm just gonna go straight down here because I can. That's a wrap for today. Thanks for joining on the adventure. And we'll see you on the next one. Make sure you hit that like, subscribe button if you haven't already. And uh, this is Cavs, out, see you on the next adventure.